Hey, Tommy, what are we building today? A headboard, what do you think? Wow, that's nice, I like that. What is that material? Well, that's three quarter rough sawn flooring. Wow, that looks really good. Yeah, I'm on board with that. I've actually built three of them. You've built three of these? Yeah, well, that, that's mine. I built one for my daughter and I had to build one for my son. So today we're building one for me. Right, but we're gonna use a little bit different material. Got this at the home center. It comes in a box, it's just rough sawn lumber. Yeah. And we're gonna make a headboard out of that. Just kind of piece it together in random sort of styling yeah. and everything? Yeah. We're only gonna make a headboard because I've got a metal frame for the bed. All right, let's get to work. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with this piece of half inch birch. And if we look at these boards, these are rough sawn boards. So now when the barn board goes together like this, mm. you can see that gap. Yep, so that's what you get when you pick rustic wood. Right, now if we mounted this right on the plywood, you'd actually see that white through the joint. So what I've done is I've painted a sheet of birch black. So now when you look through the joint. It just looks like a shadow. Right. Clever, all right. Okay. So now we can cut the plywood to a rough size. We're going to add some 2 by 4s to the back to stiffen and straighten out the plywood. All right, now that our plywood is straight, we're ready to start laying out the boards. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start at the top and we're going to work our way down. Take this board and I'm going to let it go past the edge so it'll be a little long and I'm going to overhang it slightly at the top and mark the length for our first piece. So I take it and I want to just see how the joint is here. Again, I don't care if it's really square. I just want to take it here. I'm going to give you a mark. I'm going to mark it long and you give me back both pieces. You want the uh, cut edge too, or you want the rough edge? Get the cut edge that way. Roger that. All right, so now I'm just going to use some construction adhesive. All right, you good there? All right, now I'm just going to use a one inch pin. Gonna put one right here. Okay, so now we're gonna start with that board, but don't put it in there yet. I'm gonna take this one and push it tight to these two bottoms. So now we have this one. You can slide it into position right there, and I'll tack it off. Okay. Good. All right, so that's the piece that you cut off of this piece. We're going to start with this on the next row. So bring it in and just let it overhang a little bit. And I want to make sure that our, yeah, you can bring that in. We get maximum board right there. And we'll just tack that. All right, so now we'll take the next piece, just slide it in. And we'll just grab another board. I'll hold it up against the end of this one, mark a rough length, and you can cut that. With all the boards in place, we can make a clean cut on both ends. All 
All right, here's a piece of our metal frame that's gonna hold the mattress. And it doesn't require a box spring. The measurement that we're gonna have on each side of the frame will be about five and a half inches. We can make that measurement whatever we want. It could be two feet, it can go behind the nightstand, or it can be flush with the metal frame. So if our overhang comes to here, yep. what happens to this piece of wood? All right, this piece right here, we're gonna cut off, but we're gonna cut it off so that we can return it down oh. and go to the wall. Give some depth to this piece. Right. So what I have to do is I have to make two opposing miter cuts. Now we can assemble the side. All right, now don't worry about that and going in too tight yet. Get this working up and down just a little bit. It's right in. Now, you might need to pull a little clamp on that. Oh, that's, that's good there if you got it. I got it. For the top, we're going to use a piece of five-quarter pine, and we're going to paint on this water-based finish. It'll give the wood an aged look, and that'll get close to matching the rest of the boards. All right. Oop, to you, to you, right, one more to me, good. Okay, so push that out about an eighth of an inch beyond the side. Got it. All right, let me put a couple screws up in there. So okay. all you need to do is screw this metal frame to it, or you can tack this to the wall. Another good one, Tommy. You pulled it off again. Nice and rustic, matches perfectly. I like the return. I've got a pretty strong feeling that the viewers are going to be replicating this one as well. I hope so. I can't wait to see the photos if they do. All right, nice job. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.